I'm Dan from Intelligel. We're down here from uh, Canada for NAM 2017. So I have a, a bunch of new products to show you guys. Uh, we'll start out with Lock. It's a physical modeling percussion synthesizer that was done in collaboration with Applied Acoustic Systems. They're pretty well known for their amazing physical modeling um, plugins. It's basically a polyphonic resonator. It can do two voice polyphony and um, a mallet and a noise source with filtering and it allows you to create a whole bunch of realistic, acoustically realistic percussion sounds and then manipulate them to turn them into whatever you want, really. I can change the uh, this from being a beam to a marimba, to a drum head sound. You can sequence it. assign things to these different macro controls. There's presets that you can exchange by USB. Um, you can CV selection of presets so that per step you can get a different sound. So you get a sort of pseudo multi-tamperality. Down here we have, it's a multi-dimensional performance touch controller. So I have a whole bunch of different modes that I can choose. So let's say we start with this mode right now. Um, I can record position and you can see the light showing pressure is being uh, registered too. So I've got a way to decide if that's being latched or it's momentary. I can go through a bunch of different modes. So like, let's go to a chord mode. Each one of these will recall a different chord and I can set the bass uh, note and then the, the, uh, the intervals. I'm going up octaves, down octaves, and per semitone. And there's an alternate way of editing it. If I press this, I can now select from banks of chords, like a library, invert them, and rotate the notes. And we've got a master module that'll be coming out later that allows you to do sequencing, uh, modulate the sequences in the chords, uh, morph controlling, a whole bunch of other stuff. These can be linked together by I2C, and we've got a, a header on it that's compatible with mono products, so we're hoping we're gonna find a way to um, make it controllable or interface with some other things. Um, Next to the Tetrapad, we have Quad VCA. And this is uh, four VCA channels. Each one has a 6 dB boost switch, variable response curve. You've got um, CB is normal together, so that you, which is really handy sometimes when you're making chords. Um, manual control of levels and cascaded mixing. So this can basically act as a mixer, amplifier, um, serve VCA duties and a compact, compact size, and it's inexpensive, sounds great. Pairs well with the uh, Quadra. It's nice for doing sort of polyphonic stuff. Next to that, we have a module called Shifty, and this does stuff that, as far as I know, has not been done in Eurac before, where there's no easy, like, simple way to, to get these results. I really wanted to be able to make sequences like you could on a Korg Monopoly, where every step went to a new voice. So right now, I've got, uh, I'll turn this up, I've got um, the Metropolis sequencing. It's got a gate and a CV input. And every time it has a new step, it, the pitch is stored at the last step. And then the new pitch is sampled at the next step. And I can have up to four stages that it can cycle through. And I can change the direction, random, ping pong, uh, up, down. And if I switch to the first position, it turns into an analog shift register. So instead of assigning the pitch to different uh, uh, outputs sequentially, it's it's shifting the pitches down so that it's great for sort of modal playing, Arabic, Gassics type stuff. And there's, again, these other modes still apply. So you could have like ping pong, only changes direction when you uh, fire reset balls. The random mode is a kind of a scatter of the different values that are on hand. And uh, yeah, once you patch up a bunch of different oscillators and uh, VCAs and envelopes, you can get really uh, musical results out of it. Up here, we have a new version of the Spring Ray. It's been totally redesigned from scratch. It's a current-driven tank driver now. Um, it's possible if you cut like this and put fully wet, you can get um, phaser-type sounds. You can sweep through. 
and uh, it's got an optical limiter circuit that, that once you, when you really limit it, you get a really nice boost on the sound. A lot of work went into making sure that when you're doing feedback, you get nice drones and there's a lot to control. So that's all our new um, 3U modules. Funk will be out in a couple of months. Um, a few more things will finish on firmware and the price will be 309. Tetrapad will also be a couple more months and its price is 299. Quad VCA is in stock. It will ship as soon as we're back from NAM. It's 189. Shifty will be a couple weeks. We just uh, have to get um, production finished and it will be 159. Spring Ray is also in stock and that's 239. We also have a bunch of new 1U modules. We have a line in. We have this little random toolkit that's got clock, random pulse on it, um, analog noise, sample slash track and hold, and a slew. And uh, Buff Mult, very high quality headphone driver, which got a really nice bass response. And then over here, we have a, this inexpensive digital reverb that's actually got a really nice character to it. And also, you can see here our new 104 HP size cases, which were uh, uh, much requested by people who had our 84 HP. So we've got two sizes now, and then we have a, a prototype of a soft case that we, we're gonna add some more features to it, but we wanted to make sure that the sizing was good. We took it on the plane here in overhead uh, uh, compartment, and it actually fell out of a car and managed to protect the modules pretty well. So, so far we're happy with the results.